This is Coach Karan Godwin, and these are the Ball Hall Glove X Factor. They take away the natural grip of the ball, forcing your hands and fingers to work overtime. It takes away your grip, so the ball slips out of your hands. You really got to be able to control the ball. There is no room for air when you dribble this way. For drills, follow at Coach Godwin and get your Ball Hall Gloves and D cones at ballhawkgloves.com. Just past the midway point, and you see the quick start for the Nets. It slowed down. Pretty good for Jason Tim. You can just see the difference. The bounce to a step from Game Four. It's the aggressiveness that was the adjustment. No, that's enough. This is Kenyon Martin. The emphatic follow. Martin, quick move. He's got amazing quickness for a guy his size. Having a subpar game, is it something the Pacers are doing differently? As he hits the jumper. I don't know if they're defending him any differently. He's always been an inconsistent up and down shooter. His great value is that he makes the game easier for his teammates. He has three assists. That was a tough pass. He caught it from behind, gathered himself and made a nice play. Reggie took advantage of it, got the shot. Van Horn misfires. Martin snatches it. Oh, what a terrific athletic play from Kenya Martin. Nets back up by one. We've had eight lead changes in this third quarter alone. Again, the jump hook. That is his go-to move. I'm going to say it once more. Left driver, left to right spin. You've got to take away what people do best. Final seconds. Miller. Foster at the buzzer, well short, and that will end the third quarter. Keith Van Horn, and Mercer got a piece of it, and Jason Kidd will shoot two, Mercer's second foul. Van Horn has Artest draped all over him. Martin, Kenyon Martin, big shot. He's got 22. Again, the only playoff series the New Jersey Nets have won in the NBA. Oh, and a shot from Kidd. Over five and a half to play on the court. Kid, tough shot. Ali may have gotten a piece of it. Van Horn falls and Kid right there for the foul. Ron Mercer hit his head and is slow getting up. Foul for Jersey. They'll be shooting at bonus situation. Jersey only with one personal foul here. Kid the jumper. Puts it in. Jason Kid, another big bucket. Jason Kidd just answered the challenge. The challenge that they posed to him was, we're going underneath the screen. You have to shoot a jump shot to beat us, and he made it. And Kidd now with 10 points. There's a three. Miller won't go. He has the last seven New Jersey points, 11 of his 22 here in his fourth quarter. Two clutch free throws from Jason Kidd. Survive understanding that this is it. You're going home or you're going to go on to the next round. All those small things show up in these kinds of situations. Martin again with that quick shot and he gets the roll. We're tied again. More playoff heroics. Kid answers right back. It was cut off. He looked diagonally across and got Mercer. Kid with the left hand. Oh, what a play from Jason Kidd. Martin with the slam on the kid penetration. Nets back by one with 26.2 remaining. Nope. They go back to O'Neal. Martin right up on him. O'Neal spinning, stolen by Kenyon Martin. And then the foul on Jermaine O'Neal. Kenyon Martin with a terrific defensive play. And he'll shoot with 8.2 remaining. O'Neal is fouled out. Martin becomes the aggressor even though he's on defense right now. He's not going to let Jermaine O'Neal take it once he feels the ball. Ali trying to go for the steal. Kidd knocks it down. That's the same shot that could have won it for him at the end of the overtime. Instead, it gives him a five-point lead in the second overtime. Oh, he puts it in. Ali right in his face. And the Nets back up by five. 31 for Jason Kidd. Offensive foul. Another illegal screen. This one, Jeff Foster. Finding Martin. Martin, tough shot. No, no. Offensive foul. He lowered the right shoulder. And Martin called for the foul. That's the first Nets turnover in 26 minutes. They've really taken care of the basketball. But the number one seed advances to the second round. Yes, 
see is he's uh, getting a lot of congratulations from a lot of people, including Reggie Miller. Jason, I know you're exhausted. The hopes of an entire franchise rested on your shoulders in a double overtime elimination game. I don't know, just what went through your mind time and again as this one seemed like it might slip away. Well, Reggie, uh, Reggie, you know, anytime Reggie uh, is involved, he's always going to make the big shot. And uh, I was like, man, I hope we're not like the Knicks because he always comes back to buy them. But, uh, you know, it was a great game on both teams. Nobody gave up. We just fought and uh, we got lucky and won tonight. I know yesterday that you had talked to your teammates and challenged yourself as well to come out with a different kind of intensity than game four. How proud to see the Keith Van Horns, oh. the Kenyans, and all of them rise to that they again. Were the, they were the, the ones who carried us today. Kenyon and, uh, and Keith came out huge tonight and showed the world that he can play at a high level. And uh, we're going to need him throughout the series to uh, help us advance. And, you know, we got a tough opponent coming in in Charlotte. They're playing extremely well. So uh, we got us to get ready for them. I once asked you where the will to win comes from. You look like you were struggling physically. Are you all right, or is it just you were leaving it all out on the court? Well, chasing Reggie is no fun, and I can see why Kerry gets tired. But, you know, my body started to cramp up at the end. But it was do or die. I can rest, you know, rest of the summer. But uh, I just didn't want my teammates and, uh, and us to give up. You know, this was a great opportunity, and uh, we got lucky, and we move on now. Last thing, and we talked about this this morning, that the reason you were brought here was to elevate this franchise to places they haven't been in a long time. Satisfying for yourself at this moment? Well, it is, because, uh, you know, a lot of critics talk about, uh, you know, this team has had question marks from day one, and, uh, you know, everybody talks about that. You know, Jason's not going to get them past the first round. He, he takes an early exit. Uh, so we've always had something to prove, and this is just another stepping stone for us to grow as a team and get better. Jason, it was a great game to watch particularly to watch you. Uh -huh. TJ, take care of your dad for us. He has to get in bed. It's the best past his bedtime. Thanks, Thanks Jason.